Okay guys, so you gotta see this Medvedev ranting and going absolutely insane on the umpire. So it was 4-5 uh, in the second set versus um, Tsitsipas. He just lost his serve. And uh, he started, he, he got on the bench and he just started going berserk on the umpire. Uh, some of it justified. He was talking about Bertin, about um, Tsitsipas' father. Talking all the time. And that it could have been coaching and uh, that the umpire uh, should have gave him a code violation. So he gets a warning. So he's starting. Bro, are you mad? Should we listen to this? For what? So he just got a code violation himself. Just insane. Can just went mad. How can you be so bad in the semi final of a Grand Slam? Look at me, I'm talking to you. What do you want? Give him coaching. His father is talking. <laughs> Look at this. So the, the the umpire says says time was it was time for the game to start. <laughs> Medvedev goes like, what time? This was absolutely hilarious. What time? I'm talking to you. <laughs> He's lost it, I'm afraid. So uh, he says himself. I was, he apologizes. <laughs> yeah, you see, I mean, you guys are laughing, so I think uh, we can say it was funny, but uh, <laughs> I was definitely. Uh, out of uh, out of my mind, if we can say like this, like I was, uh, I was not controlling myself anymore about anything, and that's actually why I'm really happy to win because many matches like this, I would go on just to you know to to do mistakes because you lose your concentration a lot when when you get in this uh, in this heat of uh, of the moment uh, things. I asked him if he can uh, talk, and he said he can talk, but he can't coach. And then asked, uh, do you speak Greek? So if not, I mean, the, the guy is talking, talking, talking. I don't know what he says, but uh, if it's a coach, and I, I don't consider coaching as cheating, but it should be a code violation. And uh, then uh, the second one would be uh, a bit tricky. So Medvedev admits uh, he, it was a mistake and uh, he lost his mind. And uh, But still, and even even that, that coaching, uh, on his opinion, wouldn't be cheating, but according to rules, it should be a code violation. And that's what he was uh, desperately asking to the umpire. And then he, he even says uh, that he regrets it. I regret it all the time um, because I don't think it's nice. Um, I know that he's. I, I know that every referee is trying to do their best. But yeah, when you are there, tennis, you know, uh, we don't fight uh, with the fists, but tennis is a fight. It's a one we won uh, against another player. So I'm actually uh, really um, respectful to to players who never, uh, almost never, show their emotions because I mean it's tough. It's tough because I get. Uh, Still, the amazing thing is Medvedev managed to pull pull it together, even if he lost the second set 6-4. After that break, after that serve, he he, he lost at 4-4. He made it. Uh, it was 5-4 for Tsitsipas. Tsitsipas served for the set and take, took the set 6-4. Then uh, Medvedev just spring back up and just forgot the whole the whole nerves going berserk. And just focused on the match, managed to pull it together to win 3 1, to win the next two sets and to win the match 3 1. And this was quite remarkable because Tsitsipas had a really, really tough game, it was playing really good the whole tournament. An amazing match. Medvedev also had a, a, a crazy match with uh, Felix Aliasim and still managed to pull off this victory and of course he was um, really entertaining uh, 
at the on-court interview as well. What was that all about and did that help you get through the finish line in this one? To be honest, I don't think emotions, uh, like bad emotions, helped me too much. And when I made it, um, I, many times I lose a match because of this, because you lose concentration, you lose too much energy, which maybe in the fourth set is not enough. So as soon as I've done it, I was like, that was a big mistake, but uh, I'm happy that I managed, you know, to reconcentrate for the beginning of the third set. Didn't play well at all, 15-40, managed to, to pull out some serves, and that brought me back into the match, and I was like, okay, I lost some energy, but I have to, have to refocus. The match is quite important, I think. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I tried my best, and I'm happy it worked. Match with, uh, with Felix, I, uh, I talked to my coach, and I was like, how do I do in two days? Like I had uh, this moment, I was so dead. Like I sat down in the locker room after the match, and I barely could move. And uh, yeah, tried you know to to do the recovery well. And uh, actually, the next day I woke up, and uh, the moment I, I opened my eyes, I was like, it's not too bad. You know, I felt <laughs> felt some pain here and there, but I was like, it's not too bad. I can recover, and uh, that was hap that, That's what happened. To be honest, I was. I was more tired than usually, and that's why some mistakes could happen, especially on the backhand. But uh, I'm happy that today was not uh, five hours, so the greatest. And uh, what's funny that again I'm going to play someone going for the 21st slam. So uh, I guess last time Rafa was watching uh, it near the TV. Uh, I don't know who he was cheering for, but uh, I think Novak will be watching this one in two days also. Oh yeah. But, uh,